This is more or less where I left this part, in the trim unwrap video, when I suggested to symmetrize the trims over to the other sides. So let's do just that right now. You can use Blender's native tool to do it. I use the one in Mesh Machine instead. I'll then symmetrize again, this time across the Y axis. If you take a look at these symmetrized trims, you can see that the parallax looks off. Compare that to the original trims, where the parallax properly fakes depth. If you disable parallax globally, the problem vanishes, but so does the fake depth. And the problem reappears if I re enable the parallax. So to fix this, I bring up my UV workspace and call the mirror trim tool from the edit mode pie in the UV editor. The tool is only available in the UV editor, not in the 3D view. Once mirrored, the trim's parallax works as expected. Note that the trims on this side work properly already. And that's because the top left corner was symmetrized two times, first across X, then across Y. So what I do now is, hide the original trims, as well as the ones that were symmetrized two times. I will also hide these, and will deal with them later in a different way. And I mirror this one again, to return it to its previous broken state, just for the demonstration. Now, in the UV editor with UV selection sync enabled, I select all detail trims, but not the panel trims, and not the empty trim either. I then call the mirror tool with the alt key pressed, which will batch mirror trims based on individual selection islands. And so now, all the mirror detail trims parallax works fine. What's left to do are the panel trims. And while you don't necessarily have to mirror them separately, I do it here, because several of them touch detail trims on my mesh. For every trim, decal machine will find the midpoint in the U dimension, and then mirror across that. For panel trims however, it will always be a value of 0.5, so directly in the center of the UV space. All parallax issues are gone now. What's left is only this trim going across the mesh's origin. And since it's asymmetrical, I just trim it again. Same here. Now, let's say you have two trims directly next to each other. If you then try to mirror them, even with the Alt key pressed, this will happen. There is no good way for decal machine to detect these are separate trims, and so both were mirrored at once as if they were a single trim. So what you have to do in that situation is, mirror them individually. 